is never done, but someone has to wear the crown. I'm smart, successful, and always politically correct. I always have the final say in any one of life's situations. A picture might be worth a thousand words, but my worth is infinite. Perfection comes at a cost, and my husband pays it all. After Felicity's party, I couldn't sleep, couldn't eat, wanted to reach out to Evelyn, wanted to reach out to Felicity and apologize, wanted to protect my daughter, Allison crossed the line, and as a parent I know that, she disrespected one of my best friend's marriages, Allison is coming over today to talk, so sweetheart how are you feeling after getting everything out there at the party? Like a weight has been lifted off of me. I want to erase that part of my life with John forever. There could have been a million other ways to do it Allison. If it was up to you I would have never done it. I mean I feel bad for doing it, but he and Miss Evelyn were separating. Allison he lied to you, do you not see what position this puts me in with one of my best friends? How will our friendship survive this? Figure it out mom, brush it under the rug like you do with every other one of my mistakes. You're so good at that. I can't believe I am hearing what I am hearing. This is why it should have been kept a secret. I wish she would show a little remorse. Hey babe. Hey gorgeous, have you checked on Evelyn today? I sent her a text. She said she just felt numb and needed time to process. I understand. You know, John and I have always been thick as thieves. You know he was even a groom's man when I married Chelsea. He could have came to me if he was struggling in his marriage. What he did was so wrong, and getting Allison pregnant and I just wonder when Jane figured it out and why she didn't reach out to any of us about it. Well beautiful, you have to understand where she was coming from. Her daughter had an affair with the considerably older husband of one of her best friends. And not only that, she got pregnant. Jane was in an impossible situation. And I don't think Evelyn can really blame her for not telling her. Hearing Owen say that out loud really put a lot into perspective for me. Jane was trying to protect her daughter. She didn't want to hurt Evelyn. But I'm afraid in this situation she did. That really does make a lot of sense. How did I get so lucky? I know. I really do love you. I love you more pretty girl. So before work I went over to Evelyn's to check on her because I can't imagine what she's feeling right now. And to my surprise, John answers the door. Not who I was expecting to see. Hi Chelsea. Evelyn stepped out. Then I can talk to you. First of all, what are you thinking? I have enough crap going on right now. I don't need anything extra from you. Well, I'm afraid you're going to have to hear it. I mean, I have always known you were a skis ball, but with one of our girlfriend's daughters. You have hurt Evelyn and embarrassed her in front of this whole town. That's all you ladies care about. Your reputation. Maybe if Evelyn worried more about her husband and less on what these hoity-toity broads like yourself thought she wouldn't be in this position. You repulse me. Evelyn deserves so much better. Maybe. But she isn't going anywhere, Chelsea. She likes the paychecks I bring home that buy her nice things and the image of being married to the chief of staff at the hospital. She is one of the best and most successful photographers around. She doesn't need you. And if she needs help managing a divorce from a narcissistic pig, I happen to have written the book on it. Stop blaming your divorce on Owen. We all know the happiest day of his life was when he rid himself of you, the frigid ice queen of Willow Creek. Go to hell. I'll see you there. John is a disgrace. He infuriates me and makes my skin crawl. Summer called me and suggested a girl's night at the bar, and who am I to turn down a night with a close friend and a cocktail? You look lovely. How is everything? I feel to blame for Evelyn being hurt. I feel deceived by Jane. 
None of us had any idea that Allison would have dropped that huge secret. Anyway, so your big fashion show is next week. I know you're excited. I can't wait. And I'm so glad I have so many of the beautiful teens and young adults of Willow Creek on board as models. Rosemary is so excited you asked her to model. Is Allison still modeling in the fashion show? I was gonna ask your opinion on that. Should she? If she isn't in it, it's going to cause a rift between you and Jane. I understand why Summer is hesitant about Allison being in the fashion show after everything. But Jane is still our friend. I just want everyone to be okay. I mean, I have come to terms that Chelsea and I will never be friends. But I don't want that for anyone else in the group. Summer is always trying to make sure everyone in the group is comfortable, and it's one of the things I love about her. You never know with Chelsea. Stay optimistic. As for Jane and Evelyn, we just have to find a way without them feeling ambushed. A few drinks in and Felicity and I are some top-notch schemers. I wish there was a way we could get Jane and Evelyn to talk. All right, girl, let's get out of here. I think you have a stalker. I mean, I hate to sound conceited, but anytime I'm out, I always tend to attract a creeper or two. I had to get out of Willow Creek for a few days after everything. I need time to just be by myself. So I have been staying with a friend in Newcrest. Today Jane texted me and asked if we could meet. So I guess I'm going to hear what she has to say. Evelyn and I have too strong of a friendship to just let it dissolve. I have to try and salvage it. I'm surprised you texted me. Why is that? Because you normally just cowered behind things and don't ever face the truth. I just thought our friendship is important to get past this. You mean was. Jane you knew your slut daughter was having an affair with my husband and then knew for nine months when she was carrying his baby. I am going to let her have that one comment about my daughter and excuse it. But that's it. How about be a woman and tell me, one of your best friends, what was really going on? That is my daughter. I love her, but I don't excuse what she has done. You are always covering up for her. Always have always will. Evelyn, don't you think you're misplacing all this anger when some of it needs to be directed towards your husband? Oh, believe me, there is plenty of that for him. He says she pursued him. Relentlessly. Is she serious right now? I'll let you believe what you want to believe. I really don't have the time for this today, though. Have a good day, Jane. At the point I am in my life right now, I just don't have the energy for this. Or for Jane.